Today we're going to learn three techniques, tricks of watercolor, tricks if you will. I prefer one that is more to the same size. Okay, we're going to tape them down because we're going to wet them. So we're going to tape these guys down. I like to make a nice little square so that we have a frame after. Makes it pretty. We can use the same tape for these two guys. I'll just use a long strip for this one and you have to be very careful when you're taking this off this is this is masking tape and some of them are friendly some of them are not so when you take them off you can actually throw on some heat like a hair dryer or anything like that if you really are concerned about removing it if you see that it's giving you trouble you can do that so we are going to be using Payne's gray and I have a lot in my in my palette already, so I think I'm just going to activate that. There we go. Make a nice little puddle. My brush has moved because I was cleaning up. And now it's here. Okay. So we're just going to activate this bad boy. I put too much water, I think. I think I just added way too much water, but we'll see. <clears throat> actually considering what we're going to do it should be just fine it's actually nice and you can basically see how you're mixing and how thick it is by how quickly you can see the bottom of the palette that you're working with especially if it's ceramic i prefer a ceramic because it makes it that much easier i'm going to grab a bigger brush i'm going to go for my 12 and wet that bad boy there it is and we're going to go across and just wet this square. We're going to be showing different techniques and what happens when you add water after it's slightly dry, what happens when you add alcohol after it's slightly dry but not dry, and we're going to see what happens when we add salt. So three different techniques that can be used when painting. So I'm going to let that dry just a bit, like you're not letting it dry for hours. It has to be able to receive the salt, but if you do it too fast, the salt just bleeds in. It's not the same. So here we go. So there you have that. And I think Just giving it a thought. Alcohol, water, salt. So let's give it a shot. Let's wet the three of them. Maybe the top one will be ready by the time we get there. And I think it probably is ready. A little bit of drying changes how it receives. If you add just a drop of water, which is part of the plan here today, if you added the drop of water before it was actually a little bit dry it wouldn't have much effect see now it's offering up blooms that you'll be able to see so you can use these if you want to have a an abstract flower poppies gardens clouds so that's what happens when you just add a drop of water after you've let it dry for a minute or two now, what happens when you add alcohol? I just have regular alcohol here. Um, thankfully, due to COVID, we have enough alcohol in the house to last a, until the next millennium. And this is what happens when you add a drop of alcohol to your semi-dry watercolor. Isn't that something? There you go. Oh, we've got that one, a stray. The stray will be receiving the salt. So this is just regular table salt. And we're gonna apply it, put that on here so that you can see 
what happens. The bigger the grain, grains of salt, the different, it'll be a different impact. So I have fine grated salt, but if you want to have like the thicker chunks, the thicker chunks make a different look. So now I wait till that dries and I'll brush it off, but if you don't brush it off before it's dry. So let's give that a breath and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we let that dry and I removed the salt, brushing it. Some of it was still a bit wet, so you can see there's lines. I think that would make a beautiful sky. And we have the one drop of the alcohol that jumped out from there to here. I, on my way back, I dripped it. So you can see the water, the alcohol, the salt. These are all ways you can impact your art with different things that you have around the house.